Shop with me, the knitwear edition. A little try on and browse around the likes of H&M, Mango, The White Company and Reese. So let's start with the latter, where I found far too many pieces I wanted to buy. So firstly, I found this half sip cable knit jumper, which I tried on in the cream. It's also available in a lovely shade of camel and a pastel blue if you're craving a little more color. I think the style is meant to be a regular fit, but I tried it on in the large to make it feel really oversized. You can leave that collar laying open and flat, or keep snuggled with it zipped right up. The only downside on this one for me is that it's not made from 100% cotton, which would have made it perfect. It is the season for a little bodycon dressing, but thankfully for us, the trend is still subtle and elegant. And on top of that, I don't think an interpretation like this will ever date. This knitted dress is available in this oatmeal tone that I tried, and black too if you prefer. It's made from a blend of wool and viscose with a tiny bit of cashmere to finish. I'm wearing the small and I'd say the fit is perfect. And I think the rib to the knit, along with that high roll neck, not only make it feel a bit different, but elevate the piece too. I'd style with long boots and a full length winter coat. As you've probably gathered from my pictures on Instagram, I don't really need another oversized blue shirt, but the fabric on this one really stood out, so I just had to try it on. The label just said 100% cotton, but I'm thinking it's possibly a cotton sateen as it feels so silky to the touch. Now, wreaths are well known for their timeless tailoring, but if you're favoring more oversized fits like I am this season, simply pick out your favorite pieces and size up once or twice. I tried the medium in this shirt and I love it. And although, yes, it's high end of the high street at £98, I would say, having seen this in person and felt the quality, it's absolutely worth the pennies. I thought of this jumper as an alternative to the half zip one I showed you in the beginning. It still has that higher neck we've been seeing an awful lot of this season, but without the zip, which I know that some people find annoying. This one is slightly longer in the length too. The sort of jumper you could style with tighter trousers or jeans or leggings and still feel covered. Again, it has that chunky cable knit, which I love. And I actually really like how they've styled it on their website with those more polished looking joggers. Camel obviously works nicely against creams and beiges, but mostly I love the contrast of laid back jumpers dressed up with heels. It's a cozy contrast I reach for a lot in winter. Talking of smarter joggers, I found these along the way, which I thought were just a little bit different. I like how the leg is tapered to create a gentle barrel leg, and those seams make them feel more polished. The silver tone buttons ruined it for me though, which was a shame. I'd have rather something more understated. Perhaps their simple jersey joggers would be a better alternative. Less fuss often feels nicer to wear, for me at least. But I did really like this shawl collar sweatshirt that I tried on in the ivory. It's been made from a lovely brushed cotton, so it felt super soft to wear. And although low key, I thought it would be a chic addition to everyday looks. Though this item would obviously work as loungewear, I would also dress it up a touch too and style it with more tailored trousers, perhaps adding in more textures with a wool coat or a scarf. I often think people can overlook those really simple pieces, but honestly, if you find one that's a great fit and made from a beautiful fabric or yarn, I tend to find them priceless in my wardrobe. Now you need a little bit of imagination with this next piece as obviously the combination is all wrong, but how gorgeous is this blazer? Though described as oatmeal, I love the blend of colors in that fabric and the slightly masculine shape to it. It's pretty tailored like a lot of Reese blazers. So again, I sized up to a 12 for this look, but I think it would also work true to size as well. With such a lovely statement piece like that, I would probably keep the rest of my styling really simple. Classic pair of dark denim jeans, and depending on the weather, maybe just a little vest top or a cami underneath. Some pieces just scream star of the show, so I like to just let them do their thing. Next up, I headed to H&M who have finally got their changing rooms open again. So laden with armfuls of pieces, I headed for a little try on and found some new pieces that had to come home with me. Starting with this jumper in that lovely deep charcoal shade. Like at Reese, I've been trying knitwear sized up this season as I'm craving those really oversized snuggly fits and I think this one did it perfectly. In reality, it's a pretty basic jumper with that simple crew neck and regular sleeves. But in actual fact, I've worn it quite a few different ways already. 
so it's a sign of a good piece. Those jeans had to come home with me too. I just love that fit. Now they're not meant to be so oversized, but I really love the shade and the detail. So I decided to try them a size up as I thought they would really work and tick that loose trend box perfectly. I've been wearing them really loose and slouchy or adding a belt and sitting them higher up on my waist. So lots of different options of how to style them. Paired with smarter shirts and blouses for a contrast, or a simple yet classic tee for everyday wear. You could polish the look with smarter heels or pointed toe flats, which do have that handy knack of really elevating very relaxed pieces like baggy jeans. I'd probably add a really chic and timeless blazer with them too, along the lines of that nonchalant Parisian style that I love so much. Now these trousers obviously need taking up a touch, but I thought the fit around the waist and with that dropped crotch was really flattering. They just need a little tweak on the hems to finish them off nicely. I love those deep pleats down the front of the leg, creating a really nice shape. And for the price, I thought these would be a great workwear, smarter option for my wardrobe. The reality is I personally work from home probably 90% of the time, so I would probably wear them most with flats, but I think they would look great with a pair of kitten heel mules too. H&M actually do smarter pleated trousers really well. So if you're looking for some really affordable alternatives to that style, I would highly recommend having a peek at their current collection. I picked up this piece for those who love the quilted Her Majesty trend this season. Now I've seen the Frankie Shop version all over Instagram recently, it's definitely become the it coat to have this season. And while I think it looks lovely on other people, in all honesty, it just isn't for me. If, however, you love the look, then this one might be a good dupe for you. It's longer than the Frankie Shop version, and it has to be said an awful lot cheaper too. Made from recycled polyester and retailing at just $49.99. Obviously, the design is quite overpowering, so I'd probably keep the styling with this coat pretty simple elsewhere. You saw a sneak peek of this jumper with the tailored trousers, but just to give you a quick close up. Like the charcoal gray, I tried this on in a medium and I love the fit. It's been made from a blend of wool and recycled polyester again, and I love the sand tone. It feels soft and elegant, both aesthetically and literally. Not only do these big jumpers look great styled with more tailored trousers, but I also love layering them over bodycon dresses that we've seen a lot lately. It dresses down those pieces that feel a little too much for certain occasions, while still leaving you feeling polished and elegant. I promised you the knitwear edition with this video and that is definitely what I found in all its luxurious form at The White Company, one of my favourite stores for a little browse. I must be craving knitwear at the minute because as you can see I found myself another beautiful jumper. I can't actually find this one online unfortunately so I'm thinking it's possibly in store only but having been made from a blend of cashmere and wool I'd say it's definitely worth hunting down. Then to one beautiful winter coat made from the finest Italian wool made by artisans in Tuscany. Sustainably sourced, blended with twill, and even, hooray, with recycled lining too. Why don't more brands do that? It's single breasted and I love that it comes down to the knee, which not only feels really elegant, but is very practical for autumn winter too. I seem to be adding more grey tones into my wardrobe recently. It's a lovely addition to my neutral palette of shades that always seems to make me feel chic and polished without having to try too hard. This would obviously be an investment piece, but I'm imagining you would have it forever. And finally, at the White Company, I tried on this chunky knit roll neck in this gorgeous shade they call Nutmeg, made from a blend of merino and cotton, and with that wide, chunky, ribbed roll neck, it feels like I'm ticking one of the big fashion trends this season, but in a hugely comfy and cosy fashion. Another plus for me would be those raglan sleeves and the boxy fit, with a very slightly longer length at the back. I thought this would be beautiful, styled with that knitted skirt that I bought recently from Zara, or maybe just keeping it really simple with girlfriend jeans and a pair of trainers. Either way, it's a cosy and beautifully made staple for autumn winter 2021. I couldn't do a shop with me and not try on at least one of the season's hottest trends, stripes. But if you're sick of all the navy and black around at the minute, 
why not opt for something a little different like this red one at Mango? I like how the stripes don't actually start until about a third of the way down, keeping that neckline clean and minimal, and the stripes aren't too overpowering either. Following that half zip trend again, but unlike the Reese version, this neckline isn't so heavy and won't really back on itself so well. If you're looking for inspiration of how to style your stripes this season, do take a look at my daily outfit ideas over on Instagram, as I think it's fair to say I love this trend and I wear it a lot. I've never really tried Mango's workwear collection, so I thought you might find it interesting if I gave it a try. This small selection came from their essentials but committed range, so basically affordable and sustainable at the same time. Firstly, I tried this floaty tensile shirt in what I think is a very beautiful shade of blue. The fabric is beautifully soft, actually a really lovely drape. As you can see, it almost looks silk-like here. I paired that with the straight leg suit trousers in navy. They've got a lovely fit actually, a really nice tapered leg, pretty much like a capri pant, but in a smarter workwear fabric, I guess. I'm not so keen on the belt on these. I thought that detail on that looked a little bit cheap, but obviously that's an easy switch out with an alternative, or actually you don't need a belt at all. And then to finish, I tried their classic staple blazer in navy to match. More tailored than I would normally go for, but in actual fact, I really love the whole look for the office. It feels smart and elegant, and yet it feels like my own personal style running through at the same time. The whole suit is also available in black if you prefer, but personally, I'm really loving navy at the moment. It feels like a nice change to all the black that I would usually wear in winter. The blazer retails at just under 50 pounds, and the tapered suit trousers just under 36 pounds. So a really affordable option there from Mango. I've mentioned a couple of times that I'm looking for more of a robe style camel coat to go in my wardrobe. So I was interested to try Mango's version while I was there. Now I don't think this is the exact version I was thinking of before, but it's still a nice alternative to try out. I love the shade of camel they've used, although Mango always has the worst lighting in their changing rooms, so it's really hard to see in this footage. It retails at just under 120 pounds and is made from a blend of wool and recycled polyester. I would have liked the fabric to feel a little bit thicker, but I do like the shade, the shape and the fit. As you can see here, I'm trying to convince myself on this quilted coat trend, but in reality, I know in my heart it's just not working for me. I think the problem for me is in contrast to say a traditional puffer coat, which as unglamorous as it is, is actually very handy to have in those freezing days in winter. This style of coat feels like a real fad trend to me. I doubt very much that they'll be on trend next autumn winter and they're not particularly thick and cozy and warm either. So my advice would be to not overspend on this trend if you do like them, as I don't imagine it's gonna be around for too long. I'd love to hear everyone's thoughts on that quilted coat trend actually. Are you in the love or loathe camp? Or maybe you've found a more versatile option yourself. It's always really lovely hearing from you all in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching this shop with me, my try on and little mooch around the shops. As you can see, there are lots of beautiful knitwear pieces out there at the moment. So hopefully that's given you a few ideas and lots of inspiration to get you started. Big hugs everyone, and hopefully see you all next week.